In my video series on how to make a CreateSpace book cover, I showed you how to make a paperback book cover with GIMP, providing you already have the ebook cover. What if you ordered a CreateSpace paperback cover and not the ebook cover? Today, I'm going to show you how to convert a CreateSpace book cover into an ebook cover with GIMP. And we're starting right now. Welcome to Self Publishing with Dale, and if you want to master DIY publishing, then subscribe and turn on your notifications for all the latest videos. How do you get your cover designs? Do you hire a professional cover designer, or do you make your own book covers? Let me hear from you in the comments. Recently, a good buddy was all too happy to publish his Kindle ebook, but all he had was the cover design for his paperback. This can be a bit of a problem considering you already have limited real estate on the Amazon product page and even worse still when brought up in the search results. Think about it. If you have the front, back, and spine of your cover in an image, then Amazon shrinks that image down. The image becomes jumbled and hard to read and you lose far more opportunities using your paperback cover as an ebook cover placeholder. That's why I thought I'd share just how simple it is to convert a CreateSpace book cover into an ebook cover with GIMP. If you don't already have GIMP, then head over and get a free download of the open source software GIMP.org slash download. Let's go. 1. Open GIMP. 2. Drag and drop your paperback PDF file onto the blank GIMP canvas. 3. A window with import from PDF will appear. Make sure you have a resolution of around 72 to 300 dpi. The higher the resolution, the cleaner the image will be. Anything less than 72 dpi will create a pixelated image. In the event the resolution is less, you may have to go back to your designer and ask for an upgraded image quality. 4. Click Import and you'll see your full paperback cover. 5. Click on the Image tab and select Canvas Size in the drop-down. 6. Before you resize, make sure the chain is broken between width and height so you keep the image from scaling. 7. Adjust the width only. Here's a tip. Simply divide the number by half so you remove the back cover. Then slowly lower the width till you remove the spine width. You get a preview in the window so you can kind of eyeball it. 8. Click the resize button. If there's any remaining spine, then simply go back to step 5 and repeat the process until you have just the front cover. Once you're done, continue on. 9. Click the image tab again and choose the scale image option in the drop down. 10. Adjust the width to a minimum of 1500 pixels since most self publishing platforms prefer an ebook cover image that way. Make sure the chain is linked between width and height to scale your image and keep it looking clean. Then click the scale button. 11. Press Ctrl, Shift, and the letter E simultaneously and you'll be prompted with the export image window. 12. Rename your document and add .jpg after it. Make sure you're saving your image to a spot where you remember or find it later. I keep mine on the desktop for quicker reference. Then press the export button at the bottom right of the window. 13. Adjust the image quality to 100, then press export. After that, it's off to the races. Simply upload your new ebook cover file and you're good to go. If you want more useful tips like this, then tune in to my live streams every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I'll cover common questions and concerns in self-publishing. Hey, if you enjoyed today's content, then share it with at least one other person who's into DIY publishing too. Till later, this has been Self Publishing with Dale, and I'll see you guys soon.